He shall sit refining and cleansing the silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, and shall refine them as gold and as silver, and they shall offer sacrifices to the Lord in justice. Words taken from the, the lesson this morning from Malachi, the prophet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. After the procession this morning, who could not be proud to be Catholic? How touching, beautiful, and edifying. May God be praised for eternity. Today, this sermon is in part brought to you by, if we can use those words, a homeschool boy who's attending homeschool high. He sent me this letter, and it is fascinating, his insight. And I'm sure he wouldn't mind that I share it with you. He said, it seems that the visions given to Mother Mariana are seven main visions. And these seven main visions match up with the seven mansions of the interior castle. This young man seems to have a very good insight. He says, Mother Mariana de Jesus Torres had many apparitions, but Our Lady appeared seven specific times. The first of these was while she was in bed, she began to glimpse a serpent thrashing and meandering in her cell. Suddenly, she was tempted to despair. That's what the devil does. He likes to make us despair and give up. Therefore, she cried out to Our Lady for aid and help. Our Lady then appeared and spoke to Mother Mariana, who was then Sister Mariana. After speaking thus, she thrust the devil back into hell. Now, St. Teresa of Jesus, the great mystic who wrote The Interior Castle, speaks of the first mansion as a period when the devil is first thrown out. That is, fallen man receives the state of grace and he enters into the interior castle. St. Teresa says there's still demons hanging around in that first castle with to fight him off. In the second apparition, Our Lady announces herself as, I am Mary of good success. After speaking for a time, she said, My most holy son, desires to give you every type of suffering and to infuse you with the valor that you will need, I take him from my arms, receive him in your own, hold him to your weak and imperfect heart. Now the second mansion of the interior castle is described as a time of great suffering. It is also stated that one must hold fast, for the soul is weak and tepid at this stage. The sayings of St. Teresa of Jesus seem to parallel the second apparition. So, Venerable Mother Mariana has made it to the second level. In the third apparition of Our Lady, she announced the rise of a truly Catholic president the man who would be Gabriel Garcia Moreno. In between the third and fourth apparitions, Mother Mariana was imprisoned by the rebel nun, La Capitana, and was willing to suffer the pains of hell for five years in order to save La Capitana's soul. In the interior castle, we are told that the third mansion is a time of no spiritual sweetness but of great trial. And so it seems that Mother Mariana passed through that with the third apparition. During the fourth apparition, Our Lady told, among other things, how the world would greatly assault the sacraments, that the enemy of God would steal consecrated hosts from the churches so that they might profane the Eucharistic species, and that Freemasonry which will then be in power, will enact iniquitous laws with the aim of doing away with the sacrament. The sacrament of holy orders will be ridiculed, oppressed, and despised. That the sacrament of matrimony will be deeply profaned. These are quotes 
from Our Lady of Good Success, given to Mother Mariana. And now the fourth mansion then of the interior castle is described by St. Teresa to be a time when one is quote unquote assaulted by evils of the world. The fifth apparition of Our Lady was when she requested her statue to be built. Make me a statue, measure it with your rope. After this, she spoke of the infiltration of masonry into society. What is interesting is that in between the fifth and sixth apparitions, there was a period of prayer in the convent. During this time of prayer, Mother Mariana suddenly had a supernatural ecstasy of the celestial hosts, praising Our Lady and giving due honor to her, their queen. Not a few days later, she had a vision of the fury of the devil, showing the Masonic infiltration of the church and many profanities that would assail the holy sacrifice of the Mass. This was the first time she had other visions apart from the visions of Our Lady. Now, in the fifth mansion, the fifth dwelling place of the interior castle of St. Teresa, is spoken of as a place where first comes infused contemplations. That's where the soul starts to receive infused contemplation of many things. Heart, heart union with God. And he elevates it to see many things and understand many things. Her visions, therefore, seem to be infused or at least signify this mansion. Now, the sixth apparition of Our Lady is the climatic vision of the sanctuary light being extinguished. Our Lady then interpreted the meanings of the distinguishing of the light. The heresies will be propagated. The filthy stench of impurity will spread everywhere. The Masonic infiltration of the world, the loss of true vocations, and so on. This is the pinnacle of the apparitions and is described often as the main apparition of all seven. This apparition depicts the church in the midst of her greatest trial, a passion, a dark night of the soul, a purification. In the sixth mansion, St. Teresa, she describes the spiritual life in this time as one of the greatest spiritual trials the soul has to undergo. Why? Because it's getting ready to enter into the mystical marriage of the seventh mansion. St. Teresa, in her writings on the interior castle, spends most of her time on this mansion. And finally, the seventh apparition of Our Lady is a vision of St. Michael, St. Gabriel, and St. Raphael, bearing various items such as white tunics, chalices, ciboriums, white lilies, ampullas, stoles, and quills, signifying great things that are going to happen. Our Lady then appeared and proclaimed, the hard winter of your mortal existence has passed. And your eternal springtime begins where the good works practiced during early life are flowers of rare beauty, exquisite perfumes of great value, because they are the price of the Dolores redemption. Then, after an ecstasy of divine visions, Our Lady disappeared. This seems to signify the final mansion, the mystical marriage a place of joy and happiness and of reward, a place of ecstasies and raptures, a place of full and complete union with God, with Christ. Now, these seeming parallels point to a mystical parallel between the apparitions of Our Lady of Good Success and the seven mansions of the interior life as described by St. Teresa. But perhaps it's also typological of the church as a whole. The state of the church, as it were, going through her mystical stages. If this is true, our Lord 
had his dark night of the soul himself. His saints went through their dark night. The whole church now is, as it were, going through the dark night. And we're waiting for that seventh mansion, which we will call, and has been called, the triumph of Mary's immaculate heart and the age of peace. So we are in that dark night. And I think what we just experienced is a little foreshadowing of what will be possible in maybe not so distant future with the triumph of Catholicism over Freemasonry and all the abuses that we're seeing now. When we reach the seventh mansion, the passion will turn into triumph. The seventh mansion and the seventh apparition will come true in our lives. I want to, at the end of this pilgrimage, to remind you of what we talked about at the beginning of the pilgrimage. That we are going to suffer in this life as pilgrims. We have to merit that seventh mansion for the church. We have to undergo trials, tribulations, in order to receive the triumph. So let us not let this pilgrimage go to waste. We've learned valuable lessons especially how to embrace our crosses and to love them and to bring good out of them. Then we will be among those the Lord has purified and made ready for eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.